there used to be a time that there was no social media. What went on in your house stayed in your house. But that didn't stop us from wanting to be in other people's business. No, sir, Rebob, it didn't. So the way we fixed our insatiable craving for other people's problems, the soap operas, silly, the programs, as the elder Southerners called them, the dramas. And we all got together, no meeting or anything, and we decided that we hated these people. Soap opera villains, let's go. Baby, this one right here, this is Jill Abbott. Jill Abbott is from Young and the Restless. She is slick. She is conniving, underhanded, and you can't trust this mug no further than you can throw her. She is slicker than a can of oil, baby. My grandma couldn't stand this woman. I don't know what Jill Abbott did to Margaret Floyd, but whatever it is, that woman never let it go. Well, she never let it go. Mm, Jill, what you do to my grandma? This right here is Phyllis Summers. Phyllis Summers is from Young and the Restless. When I tell you that Phyllis Summers done tried to pin that baby on Danny Romilotti, she done broke into the hospital for the DNA test, done swapped the vials of blood around. She done tried to blame that baby on that man. Now Cricket don't want to talk to Danny Romilotti no more. When I tell you I couldn't stand this woman. I'm still mad at this woman for something that happened in 1993. I never forgive you, Phyllis. I never forgive you. Cricket and Danny were so cute together. Now, Daddy, I know you was out there in your little rock band and you, you could have kept your, your little stuff to yourself. But here they go. This Danny Romilotti and Cricket Blair. Yeah. Daddy was a rock star and Cricket was a model. Straight to hell with you, Phyllis. Straight to hell with you. They broke up our family. Everything done wrong to me. Already been done to you, Phyllis Summers. You hear me? Already been done to you, Phyllis Summers. Now, next up on the docket, sis right here, this right here is Brooke Logan Forrester. Baby kept the people up at night on Bold in the Beautiful. Do you hear me? This girl here slept with everybody in the town. She married Ridge. Let me show you Ridge, baby. Ridge was a H E Y Y guy. To mighty baby, baby. When they say it's tall, dark, and handsome, they weren't talking about Idris Elba. They be talking about this dude right here, Ridge. Hold on, let me show him to you. Baby Ridge Forrester was big fine. Do you hear me? Baby Ridge kept the people up at night. Up at night. And baby, that man right there couldn't get enough of this girl right here. Brooke Logan Forrester. She done married and she done married his brother. She done slept with his daddy. She done went through the whole city. Whole city, baby. And his mama. Let me show you his mama. His mama name was Stephanie, baby. Stephanie couldn't get no sleep at night. Because that woman right there was roundhousing through the town and all over her family. She couldn't get rid of this woman. She had a baby with all her sons and her husband. Let me show you. Let me show you the mama. Hold on. Here go the mama right here. This is Stephanie Forrester. That's Ridge's mama right there. Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome. Miss P.E. teacher couldn't get enough. Miss P.E. teacher couldn't rest because she already knew that Brooke Logan Forrester could have any man that she, any man she thought about from her sons to her husband. She already knew that Brooke already, ha, Brooke got it on her. You hear me? Brooke gonna let them hold a little piece of cootie cat until next Thursday. Ha, <laughs> ha. Brooke gonna do something strange for a little piece of change. I ain't never seen that lady clock in not one place on their whole show. Show was on by 30 something years. Brooke didn't clock in nowhere but on that lady husband and on that lady sons. Y'all finna give Brooke Logan Forrester her flowers. Cause Miss Mama's right here was the original city girl. The original city girl. I showing how to network. <laughs> Now this, this woman right here I'm finna show you, it might be, we might not agree, but I can't stand this woman with everything in me. And it hurt my soul to not like this woman. But she ain't had no big role on the show. The shit she did on the show stuck with me so bad. I'm mad about this woman. I'm about to go up. Let me show you this woman. Who is this woman right here? Baby, this is Lily Bell Barber. This is Drusilla and Olivia's mama from Young and the Restless. And this woman used to make a clear distinction between Olivia and Drusilla. She used to openly tell Drusilla that she hated her, that she wished she never had her. She would give Olivia the finest clothes because she said Olivia was a perfect child. And she would give Drusilla hand-me-downs. 
She treated that baby so bad. When I tell you every night when I lay down and pray, I ask Father God to pray for everybody on earth except Lily Bell Barber. Lily Bell. You gon' it's coming, baby. Mm-hmm. I know you ain't real, but you gonna have your day. You gonna have your day, ma'am. For those of you that are old enough, you may remember this scene. Just the day that Lily Bell Barber looked Drusilla in the face and told her that she wished to God that she never had her. That she was a mistake. She looked that baby in the face and told her that she was a mistake and she don't want nothing to do with her. Treated that baby so bad when I tell you I was a child. I wanted to climb through that TV screen. Drusilla is the one on the left and you see Lily Bell. I wanted to climb through that screen and hug that baby because let me tell you something, that baby needed all the love in the world. Shame on you, Lily Bell Barber. Shame on you.